Now, one of the reasons I ended up with that invalid geometry over here is because I've created a shape that's gone round another shape in the middle. It's very important that we don't have overlapping areas. So when the, when the outside shape comes round, it necessarily creates a join. And it's very easy, even with snapping toned on sometimes, to accidentally overlap your areas and then nothing will work and it's not always obvious why things aren't working for you. Whatever I do there, it's overlapping those two shapes. And it's very hard to correct. So what I need to do when I create shapes in the field is avoid those kind of shapes that go around other areas. So I would do it in, in two pieces, essentially. There's another way of doing it, though. Um, what you can do is just create the outside shape and then another habitat shape that goes over the top temporarily and then use a tool to cut out the shape in the middle. Oh, I, I know I have a shape under here, which is a, an area of uh, wetland. Now, in the field, we've catalogued that wetland as underneath the canopy. So it's woodland and wetland, but UK habitats won't allow that. So it's a ground measurement. So we can have woodland all the way around it, but where there's water, we have to have a wetland and only classify as wetland. It doesn't matter if the canopy overhangs. There are, there are different codes for that. We talk about the, the amount of shading in that uh, wetland habitat. So what we need to do, and I can, if I expand the polygons, I should be able to hide the woodland. Yeah, you can see the wetland in there. So I need to cut out that wetland shape from the, the surrounding woodland. So I need to make the layer editable. I need to hit the select tool and I need to select that wetland. Okay, and it's selected. And to cut that out, I need the clipper plugin that will cut out areas from other areas. It's much more convenient than creating two shapes that are joined to go around uh, this other habitat type in the middle. But you can install it in the, in the plugins menu. Once it's in there, it appears in vector. So vector, clipper, and you have a few different options. So I have the wetland selected, even though it's underneath the woodland there. And if I go to vector, clipper, clipper, it will cut out all the other features from all the other features in that layer. Okay, and I can prove that if I click on the woodland to select it, you can see that now the shape goes all the way around uh, the wetland. And if I take that pond, I think it's eutrophic standing water. There we go. You can see that I've cut out from the, the woodland shape. Now those, those layers tessellate exactly. There's no gap between them. Uh, so the areas will add up exactly. That's a much more convenient way of doing it than trying to draw polygons and match up the edges exactly. So if you know you're gonna have a habitat surrounded by another kind, it's often best in the field to draw them as two polygons and then cut them out later in QGIS using that little known clipper tool, which is very useful.